News in the world of Valheim, let's go. Way more details have popped up about the Bog Witch update, which is going to be bigger than we expected it to be. I want to give a special thank you and shout out to my buddy Verso, who brought to my attention this first little article that had some details we hadn't seen. And that got me thinking, hmm, I wonder what else I can find out there. So I decided to do a little digging around, and look at this. Details, details, detail, 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 detail. There's little details sprinkled all over the place. Let's see what I found. First of all, we've all seen the hut, but did you notice that if you zoom in right here, you can actually see the bog witch sitting right here. Let's zoom in here a bit. If we look at this witch, it's clearly based on the gray dwarf. And Grimcore's already verified for that. So what specifically does this vendor sell? Turns out that the Bog Witch is going to be selling potions, spices, materials, tools, and crafting recipes, according to all these different gaming news sites. I wonder if she's actually selling the crafting recipes, or really it's that you're going to end up getting the crafting recipes from buying these materials. Potions have been described as meads, tonics, and drafts. And specifically, the articles mentioned endurance, strength, and dexterity. So endurance could be another type of stamina potion, or is it something different and specific? Strength potion, is this going to be giving us the ability to carry more weight? That would be fabulous. And dexterity, I immediately think of bows and arrows when you hear dexterity skill. If we look closely at the pictures of potions that we've seen so far, there's this one right here on the right. It has a sprig of something green on the front and it is an orange color. So also something orange in this bowl. I don't know if that's related. Over here on the left, there's this tall skinny one. This to me looks the same as the one in the video that has the feathers right there. That's the sideways view of this one that has the feathers. I'm hoping that this is gonna be a potion for fall damage so that we can use a different cape and still have protection from fall damage with a potion. There's some kind of material here that's a brown that matches the band on this potion too. It almost seems like you could buy the potion or you could buy an ingredient to be able to get the recipe to make the potion. But there are definitely potions sitting around her shop, so maybe you can outright buy them before you have the ability to make them yourself. Gotta say, I also agree with Kaisa, and I hope we get the ability to place these candles. That would be amazing. And then right here in the middle in the back, there is another one. Can't see a whole lot of it, but definitely has a different lid. Not sure what this thing is. That's a different plant. Doesn't match any of the plants that we see on this shelf. So these are probably the spices that they're talking about. Jonathan did say in the interview with The Spill that there's going to be lots of potions, so we're hearing endurance, strength, dexterity, I'm hoping fall. We'll see what else. Games Radar is the one that's saying it's the gold that can be exchanged for these ingredients, usable in endurance, strength, and dexterity enhancing meads, tonics, and drafts. Moving on to materials that she's going to have available. Game Rant had this detail down here. Talking about new crafting materials like cured squirrel hamstring and powdered dragon eggshells. So whatever benefits would you get from these things? Dragon eggshells, is that the one that's related to strength? Moving on to tools that are going to become available. Jonathan mentioned in the interview yesterday the scythe that is going to help you be able to harvest crops faster. But then on Screen Rant, I came across this little picture right here. That is definitely a Viking holding a shovel. The file name for this image is Valheim Viking Holding Shovel and Farming. Now, Jonathan did mention at the spill that we are also going to have a tool that allows us to plant multiple things at a time. But we didn't know what that was because the scythe makes us harvest things faster. Is it a shovel? Would a shovel do that? And just remind me, what is this outfit? Is that the iron gear? That's not something new, right? I think that's iron. So then we move on to all the new recipes. Multiple different sites have said that there are going to be eight new feasts. A feast is a large meal that's made with food from multiple biomes that you can place down on a table without using item stands. Multiple people can eat from this feast. The food lasts longer. 
and it gives you more buffs than typical food. Jonathan called this kind of tier two food. From looking around the different sites, I've seen three different names. The first one is Swamp Dweller's Delight. Second one is Plains Pie Picnic. And the third is Mushrooms Galore a la Mistlands. So we see all this food laid out on the table here. Is this all one feast? You can kind of tell what some of it is. This looks like honey sticking out over here, obviously a mushroom. They are trying to incorporate items from prior biomes, so they're still useful. Looks like we got some seeker meat in the back. Purple mushroom, is that the grapes from an Ashland? Hmm. Could this be the mushrooms galore a la Mistlands? Or is it multiple ones there? And notice this person over here on the side. Look at her carrying a tray over to the table. Is this how you're gonna put it down on the table? We'll come back to this in a minute. And while we found out yesterday that we are getting new crafting stations, two of them, here we find out from PC Games that we're getting the food preparation table and the mead kettle. So the food preparation table is probably what Jonathan was talking about of having a different place to work with meat and the mead kettle for potions. And part of what they're doing with these is finding ways to decrease the list of things that you're crafting because the list has gotten so long in the cooking pot. And these kinds of things are going to break it up and make crafting things more efficient. Speaking of making crafting things more efficient, look at this. This is something that Jonathan just posted on X. There's options here as one of the quality of life improvements coming. So he's crafting regular and then crafting five at a time going back and forth and some of the people asked in the questions is this for crafting list two they can be very long and he said made some improvements there as well and then further down in the comments somebody asked is this going to work for food two and he confirms foods two for sure and a few more things too and it's going to work for all crafting menus i'm going to heart that Thanks, Jonathan. So then if we move on to what the actual new cooking skill is going to involve, having a cooking skill is going to make the cooking process go faster. Also, there will be a chance of crafting additional food items as your cooking skill goes up. And I saw on one of these sites somebody saying that you would also be able to learn new recipes. Here on PC Games, it talks about the f types of feasts and it says the more meals you put together increases your skill, reducing the time it takes to pre prepare food while opening up new perishables too. So that sounds like getting new recipes from upping your skill at cooking. Of course, going along with the new cooking skill is the new farming skill. So the new farming skill reduces the stamina cost of the cultivator adds a bonus chance to yield more crops. And the new scythe tool harvests all the goods even faster. Some extra details that I've seen here and there. Several of the articles that I looked at talked about how we are getting two new build pieces. I don't know if they're talking about the crafting stations. And then several of them talked about decorations. Most of them kind of said a couple, but Insider Gaming says a line of decorations and it lists that separate from new kitchen station, which makes me go back to this picture with the person carrying this tray with dishes on it. That clearly looks like something that we could sit on the table as a decoration. So maybe it's functional to carry this over. Although I would think that the feast would look like what it looks like. So this to me seems like it would be a separate thing, a decoration, the tray with dishes which would be nice because you know how we're always trying to bury the black metal thing to make it look like there are dishes sitting on a counter. <laughs> and in the picture in her shop too, we have these funky things sitting around, which are probably some ingredients and things we can buy. I don't know if we'll be able to use them as decorations or if they're just there to show us what they are, but I really wish we could set everything down on item stands or with this wonderful new technology where you can just sit things on the table like with feasts. If you like get to the point news and guides for survival games, consider subscribing and pop me a like to help this video go further. Until next time, happy gaming.